Water detectives are asking a radical question. What does water want? I'm Erica Geis, and my book, Water Always Wins, Thriving in an Age of Drought and Deluge, is about changing our relationship with water. Modern development has tried to control water with concrete dams and levees and by burying creeks and wetlands. But more and more often, that approach is failing. Climate change is bringing bigger storms and longer droughts, but our development is also part of the problem. Our sprawling cities, industrial agriculture, and even the ways in which we've tried to control water are all making us more vulnerable. Because sooner or later, water always wins. When we build on wetlands, they're the first to flood. When we block water from floodplains, we don't have that water for our rivers in the dry season. What water wants is the return of its slow phases, which our development has erased. These wetlands, floodplains, mountain meadows, and forests are where the magic happens. Water moves underground, preventing flooding, keeping it for later, and feeding myriad life systems, as well as storing carbon dioxide. So now the water detectives are forming a slow water movement in which they return some land to water. Slow water approaches are unique to each place. They seek to work with the local environment and culture rather than try to control it. Slow water is also in the spirit of many indigenous traditions that treat water with respect. Slow water projects also engage communities in their water management. By seeking to understand water, treat it with respect and collaborate with it, we are making ourselves more resilient. You can learn more on my website, slowwater.world, and find links to order my book, Water Always Wins. Thank you.